Would you be surprised if I told you that 84% of fintech firms, well, they've stayed committed to their relocation plans post-Brexit? Now, just in case you're wondering and staring at me with a glazed look in your eyes and asking what the hell is fintech? Well, fintech is a combination of uh, finance and technology, such as a swift... Uh, well, banking communication system or the technology behind cryptocurrency or even your humble local cash point, which we all take for granted. Without a thought to those boffins that make it all possible. The same boffins that are being sucked from Britain's uh, rapidly reducing pool of clever buggers. Anyway, what happens? Yeah, boot the old like button and there will be a secret word at the end of this video. Oh. And what sports you can do that on uh, Patreon or buy us a coffee and the links are down below in the description. And don't forget, we have another channel called All Shorts Shorts, where we upload those little 60 second short videos, the vertical ones. Yeah. Why not subscribe over there too? 84% of fintech firms that planned uh, to partly relocate to the, all its United Kingdom uh, operations to the European Union after Brexit ultimately have a, well, they've enacted those plans. This is according to uh, researchers at the uh, Anglia Ruskin University. The ARU. Oh, an acronym. Oh, well, in 2018, the researchers surveyed companies um, present at a FinTech Connect event in London. Well, the survey asked whether companies were planning to relocate uh, to either the you know, European Union or to the United States of America. Well, following the vote of uh, well, Brexit... And all those other people that did not believe in business uh, put that cross in the wrong uh, box that they did. Well, at the time, no deal was a real possibility. And Alexander Boris the Feffel Johnson, he was chanting, Get Brexit done! And it's up and ready, Dale. Well, as every day passed, the hope of a workable deal, it faded. And finally, with the man who said F business, yes, I can't swear on this channel anymore, in charge, we get the Trade and Cooperation Agreement. The thinnest deal of all. Better than nothing, I suppose, but only just. Well, the survey covered the opinions of 38 UK-based fintech firms of these 37% felt it was likely that parts of their business would have to relocate to the European Union if the UK left without, well, a solid deal. And we didn't, did we? Well, follow-up research in February 2022 collected data from sites including companies, house, etc. and found that 39% um, opened new offices abroad. A further 13% relocated while completely severing and dissolving their ties with the United Kingdom. Overall, 84% of firms enacted their predictions from their 2018. Yeah, in some way or another. They said Brexit was a significant push factor over the flipping cliff, well actually over to the EU it seems, and saw the EU as the most important uh, potential relocation destination, like many other industries. Car industry, for instance. Well, this is all due to declining growth opportunities in the United Kingdom. What growth? OK, they say. We're not officially in a recession, but, well, do you feel any better off? Because, I don't know about you, I don't know. We are, in real terms, in a recession. No matter what they say, two consecutive quarters of negative growth. That's just poppycock. We're in a cost of living crisis. Hmm. So what do you say? Leave it in the comments down below. And that secret word of today is boffin. <laughs> We're losing all our boffins. That we are. Oh dear. We'll leave that in the comments down below. Oh. Oh, yeah, don't forget to boop the whole like button. But also, we're planting 1,000 trees on two hectares of land. We'll be a part of that. There is a GoFundMe link down below for which you can buy a tree. And we'll plant a tree on your behalf. And, well, we'll put a sign with that tree. A bit like these signs that are behind me over here. And it could be a memory of a loved one, even, or a pet, whatever. Well, whatever you want, really. As long as it's not too big. <laughs> anyway, the links are in the description down below. So I'm going to say ta-ta, you know. So ta-ta.